Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This coffee cup reading is for all Aquarians and um, Aquarius for October and a little bit over 2024. I hope you'll enjoy this reading my dear Aquarius. My dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup, to this channel. Um, I'm grateful for all of you being here. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. It helps support you understand what's coming, what's hidden and everything you need to know. Your coffee cup is beautiful, absolutely. As you can see, there's so much going on. And I'm going to start it as soon as I explain a few things and look at some things here. Yes, a lot of changes. Not changes, but bizarre events, which I'll go through slowly. Uh, my dear viewers, I would like you to... There is a trip here. Well, for some of you, it's unex uh, unexpected. And for others, you might be planning it. Um... Uh, for those of you who are new to the coffee cup, I just want you to know prior to this, I meditate, deep meditation, and in connection to the guardian angels of all um, Aquarians. And then I'm given a lot of information, which I'll write down on a piece of paper and then uh, pass it on to this paper. A bit messy at the beginning, then I'll pass it on here to deliver to you these messages right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned. Now, glasses on, and I'm going to begin. <coughs> right, yes. Now, it seems to me like you're standing and at this point in time, like when you see this, you are indecisive about something. I'll just move this a little bit towards the light. Yeah. You are indecisive and you're not sure um, whether you should or you shouldn't. I just want to see a little bit. Yeah. You're feeling indecisive and you're not sure. There's a part of you that wants to do something, and there's another part of you that might be saying that this is not the time. In a way, you're torn because maybe um, you're fearing the consequences, but yet there's something that's pushing you to do something. Your focus is needed. Your attention is needed so that you can make the right decision. So that's the, the first thing I saw there. I also see that a little bit of patience is going to help you make the right decision. A little bit of patience and look at everything from all angles and you will see that um, I guess there's a lot of changes happening around you. But there is success coming and the success is going to help you to, to um, be able to do what you have to do. Because what you have to do could be a bit costly. So maybe that's why you're indecisive. Yeah, some of you may be uh, feeling unhappy or having some sort of um, situation. There may be some turbulence in your life or you might be having uh, physical inflammation, maybe headaches or something like sinus effect or something. It looks to me like this could be because of your emotional state, you're scared of losing someone or you're, you're worried about something. Um, I do also feel like there could be someone that might be pressuring you. There's, there, there's a little bit of pressure. Um, and you're trying to say yes, even though maybe you don't feel like doing something so much. But they're pressuring you and and it's in a way like you don't want to refuse. So you're saying yes. This person, they've got masculine energy around them. Maybe it's their expectations, right? That's what I feel. Like maybe they're expecting something from you. Uh, this could be someone like very close to you, family, spouse, lover. You've taken on responsibilities, right? This is what I'm seeing. You've got on all these responsibilities. And, and then all of a sudden there's expectations for you to do something. And that, that would mean leaving your responsibilities. And you're finding it difficult. And you don't know what to do. You're sort of torn. Some of you are in conflict. They're conflicting, you know, conflicting um, thoughts coming in and out. And, and in a way you feel defeated because it's like as if it's not in your hands. The, the, the job is done. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. If you're already planning, you've planned some things and you've got some responsibilities around you and then someone decides to take you somewhere and they say, oh, we've booked it, but it's ready to go. And you can't say, no, they bought you a ticket and you've got to go. But then you're feeling defeated because... It's like you want to say no because you've got responsibilities. You don't want to leave where you're at. 
you know, this could be long term something, something long term. You have to do something. Um, you really feel as though some important projects will be destroyed, and it's like it's out of your hands. And it's like destiny or situations are moving you. And that's why you feel defeated and unhappy. So, um, in, a, in a way, one second, my baby was, just let me take a sip of water. Okay. So, in a way, it looks like it's out of your hands. Like It's like you've reached an impasse. And it's like there's nothing much you can do. And you have no choice but to continue. And the problem is, uh, maybe it's to do with family, family matters, uh, to do with maybe a, a lover, spouse, maybe to do with the structure of, of something, maybe to do with marriage, could be to do with marriage, like, okay, for example, you've got to take time off work, which you don't want to, to go um, and visit your spouse, your sp spouse might be in a different place, living in a different place. Um, there is all that, you know, all that sort of like, it's very bizarre, very strange. Well, I feel like, you know, it is a bit challenging and I do feel like you are sort of like, things are coming to light and, and you've got to go through this. There is a change, there is healing, you will overcome it without a doubt. But the reason it is difficult, I feel like there may be financial difficulties. That's why you're probably thinking, should I go, the, the costs. And then I've got to come back and work hard on, I lost my leave. And, and you know, it's that kind of a, this is just, these are just examples. There is financial difficulty. It is challenging, but I see you move forward. There are obstacles and challenges in your path. But you know what, you you are determined to sort of say yes to this uh, situation or to this person that's requesting to see you. Maybe it's um, you know somebody really caring. I mean, it's just it's like a service where you gotta go, you gotta do it. Um, and what's a, what's more, um, it looks like maybe you are concerned about losing your job, losing a situation that you've got established. But it's part of service. It's like you gotta, you feel like that you have to service the situation. You've got to do it. Some of you are going through emotional loss in regard to service. When I say service, I see someone lying down. It could be someone that's not feeling well. And you've got to service them. And you've got to do the right thing by them. It could be visiting someone overseas that's not well. And they've asked to see you. That kind of a thing. But... um. At the same time, they're showing here, which, you know, of course, different Aquarians at different levels of years will be going through this in a different way because um, some of you are grieving the loss of someone, dis the disappointment and sadness, and some of you are in the early part of a relationship where you're looking forward to going and spending quality time with your lover, spouse, whichever, but then others there's deep deep hurt and there's sadness and there could be separation so i'm seeing that too different levels like i said the younger aquarians may be going through something new the older aquarians may be going through losses grieving or mourning even somebody that they care about or someone elderly in there in the family there is something like that there could be someone elderly passing away also because i do see someone uh, lying on their back Some of you uh, might be going through some inner child situation where you may be feeling a little bit unhappy. Um, it's very important when you do, your inner child feels wounded from the past or something that might have happened. So important to really receive intuitive messages because that can always help you, uplift you, uplift your vibrations. Always quiet your mind and just accept communications from your angels and, and just breathe. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do much. So that's going to help you to overcome any kind of situations where you're feeling um, anxious or your inner child feels wounded in some way, hurt. You can you can do that. I do see many of you putting your accomplishments together. It's like you want to start something. There's a lot of steady income coming. It's all great. 
that organizing your accomplishments can mean that you might be thinking about self-employment or doing something different than what you are doing. Some of you are getting yourself ready to, and I see a chariot here with horses. So some of you could be trying to get together a, a car, maybe buying a car, getting a car license or getting some sort of a license. Some of you are looking at overcoming a major challenge and yes, you will overcome it. It looks like seven, I've got seven here and eight. I've got 788 and that shows to me seven to eight weeks maximum, maybe maybe up to seven months. 16, yeah, 8, 8, 16. Again, we've got 7. This is going to give you freedom. You are wanting to, it's like you might be at the mercy of others and you want to change that and you want to have your own transport, especially if there's somebody driving you to work. There could be something like that. I see abundance and I see a great victory, both together. So play the lot of the lottery. Have a look at your money reading because I feel like abundance is coming your way. Some of you are really traveling. I see a travel. Uh, someone traveling and and there's support actually support there's somebody supporting you and then other people are supporting you there's a support from the team from family to to go ahead to move forward move forward with confidence your victory is going to be great your your victory overcoming that wounded child any kind of illness or any kind of financial problems you're overcoming all that all that is becoming your self-control and willpower is relentless you're relentless and you are going to be very uh, successful i see that you are going to be very satisfied with your accomplishments and what you are finally doing with the decisions you're making yes i, I really see that you are going to be going somewhere where you are going to feel very special, very loved, very respected. You're on your quest and you're determined. And, um, okay, this is really interesting because on this quest, while you are traveling or about to travel, you're sitting on this beautiful, uh, it looks like a dragon. So I guess many of you are going to be, and I've got 11 here. Oh my God, 11 and 12. So some of you are traveling in November, December. Now, it's incredible of what I'm seeing. Of course, well, well, this won't apply to every aquarium, but for the uh, a number of aquariums. It looks to me like while you're on the quest to go somewhere, to see someone special, something is igniting. A seed is igniting. Some of you could be getting pregnant. So um, I see a child destined to come in your life. But some of you could be adopted. Wherever you're going, you might be some, seeing someone where you're going to adopt. There, there could be a possibility of a seed, like being, you know, conceiving. You, where you're going, you might be having, you know, um, a lot of happiness, a lot of fun, and, and there's a chance that you could get pregnant. Um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, taking care of your health, your beauty, vanity, taking really good care of you uh, while you're preparing for this journey. And then I'm seeing you become so spontaneous and you're so excited and... And I'm seeing you like, you know, um, feeling a sense of freedom, like free from work, free from everywhere, going on this holiday, meeting someone really special. Um, you are going to be loving it. And no restrictions. No one there, just you feeling really like, maybe like, a, you know, like someone who's been always traveling with their parents and now they can travel alone. It's like, wow, I can do this. I can go and be with my lover or, you know, um, enjoy my life or be with my spouse or wh wherever. You know, it just looks like to me, a sense of freedom, a sense of excitement. There's so much enthusiasm. This is what's motivating you to take this action, even though there may be financial difficulties, you don't care. You're saying to yourself, I will, I'll work hard and achieve whatever I'm spending now, I'm gonna go, I'm not, nothing's gonna stop me. And I see a beautiful eagle carrying you <laughs> to this beautiful place. And an eagle represents overcoming challenges, it represents taking action it represents being proud of what you're doing opportunity taking advantage of an opportunity it's about new hope you want to give new hope to yourself to the person you're going to to see spend time with and i i feel like you know your perspective is uh changing and becoming i feel like this is going to happen within really it looks like to me um 19, I'm seeing number 19, which is 10. It could be 10 weeks. Um, it could be 1 to 9 weeks from now. 
but you know what i'm seeing the sunshine and the light giving you all that you need all the optimism all the happiness all the good health all the success to be able to go on all the confidence um self-esteem is booming maybe that vanity looking gorgeous and taking care of yourself looking great and looking taking care of your health and your beauty is making you um you know feel invincible and so powerful there is um someone romantic and really calm natured on the other side waiting for you this is about a decision you know that you have to make and it's connected to the heart so some of you could be work but others it looks like to me that it's more than that it's nothing to do with work it looks like something really wonderful really romantic so someone incredible very gentle the gentle natured um, and even you know you could say someone sort of like generous and naive in a way maybe like it, it looks like that someone generous and naive and it's like you're lifting your cups together there is celebration when you are getting together this person could be of air energy like you my dear Aquarius they have that in common like you Aquarius maybe They're very straightforward. <laughs> Sounds like a cute, like you, Aquarius. Very straightforward, and they're like hands-on. They work. They they hard workers, and they might be working with their hands. That might give you a clue as to who I'm seeing here. Money is coming in very slowly, but progress is going ahead because you're you're doing you're doing everything you want to do. Whatever you're planning to do, you're doing it. I see a slate here, which shows maybe some of you are thinking of upgrading your car or buying a car. Some of you could be moving for work, but in good time, um, I see long-term uh, progress without a doubt. Um, after some time, money is becoming more available to you. Some of you are really literally thinking about investing in a new venture, a new idea, a new business maybe. You can take advantage now of the possibilities because your resources are going to be great and there's a rewarding future my dear um, Aquarius a very rewarding future waiting for you now the most beautiful thing I'm seeing here is the wand fulfillment of wishes wishes being granted it's like you're standing there and your wish your wand is in your hand and demanding maybe not demanding but asking the universe for some wishes and dreams and they're all getting established you're getting your wishes answered which is amazing. Your desires are being granted, my dear Aquarius. So, um, and in the process of this, I see a key and I see a road. Some of you could be getting a key to a new home. Some of you could be getting resolutions to a problem that was standing in your way and you couldn't go somewhere. There, there is a possibility of going. I did see. I did see. Yes, I did see the trip is there. You're going. There's a trip again here. A road that you need to take. So your dreams are, are being uh, coming true um, and a lot of success and rewards are coming your way too. So with wishes, it's incredible. Yes, the key is there as a resolution for you to go. You need to rest and relax. That's very important. Maybe you're on the go doing so much. You need, like it shows to me, a fundamental break is needed for your healing or for your health. So that you don't fall apart when you're doing too much. Some of you are really going through spiritual growth. And wanting to take on uh, you know, new commitments. Doing what is expected of you. Going out of your way. But you're becoming wiser. This is spiritual growth also. You're growing. And um, a lot of... Some of you are making decisions without the approval of those around you, not asking friends or relatives or family, just making decisions yourself and like being determined. This is so strong, committing to doing whatever you think is right. And some of you are falling in love. There's new love. Opportunity of love. It could be at work. Spiritual growth and someone wonderful at work. You might be falling in love. The more you're getting to know this person as time is going, you're sitting and talking, you might be going outings and having coffees here and there. You're revealing a lot about yourself. They're revealing about themselves. Then you're getting closer and closer. It looks like it's really getting very, very close. And I see this person has got earth energy in them. 
So it could be Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. They're strong earth energy. And they're quite sociable. They're wonderful. And you're falling in love. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of healing together. In fact, <clears throat> my dear Aquarius, I'm seeing a lot of intimacy between you and this person. A lot of intimacy. It's like as though... <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of intimacy. Coming into union together, embracing and being together. And I see November. 11 and 11, double 11, November. You're getting together and there's a lot of intimacy, a lot of sensuality, a lot of touching, a lot of uh, togetherness, too much of that. Like a honeymoon. It looks like a loving honeymoon. It's like as though you're going on a romantic trip and a lot of playfulness and playing and touching and all that. There's so much going on. And... And, and while you're with this person, you're getting to realize how special you are or how special you are to them or how special they feel to you. There's that feeling of knowing how special you know you are. Um, this person wants to hold you. You want to hold them. It could be either way. It depends who plays the role of who. Who's the, um, you know, but there's a lot of holding, wanting to hug each other, wanting to hold each other. There's a lot of that. Chinese year of the horse here, very strong in this regard, what I'm seeing. Now, I'm looking at uh, energies and I'm seeing a lot of air here. Let's see in this midst of this air, what am I seeing? Oh my God, I'm seeing one, two, three, four. My dear Aquarius, this person has got a lot of Aquarius in them. There's four Aquarius. The Archer, no, sorry, the Water Bearer, one, two, three, four, four Aquarius. So this person has a lot of Aquarius in them. You, that's what unites you. We are so much alike. Uh, I see one drop of uh, Gemini, nothing to do with Libra, <laughs> so they're pure Aquarius. But you know what, I am seeing um, Virgo, there's Virgo here, Taurus and Capricorn, also Earth energies. They could have Earth energy, or you could be also dealing with some of that Earth energy uh, around uh, October, this reading is for October and a little bit over. You could be dealing with someone that has a lot of Earth energy, I see a lot of Virgo. Strong Virgo, strong Taurus. In fact, I'm seeing you communicate with the Taurus over the phone. So there's a line between you. And the Virgo is around you. But the Aquarius is a little bit far. Maybe there's a distance, a short distance between each other. There's water energy here, very strong Cancer. Cancer very strong. Then there's a little bit of Scorpio um, and Pisces. But, you know, uh, Cancer is the strongest one in regard to perhaps... Uh, relationship there could be someone like that you're talking to on the phone yeah there's fire energy here very strong also leo there's strong leo just one aries and one sagittarius but leo like three leo leo very strong you are dealing with now look at this incredible i said the horse didn't i now i'm seeing horses one two three four horses Chinese year of the horse, yes, stronger. So the majority, that means, of Aquarius are dealing with horses. Chinese year of the horse, very strong. Then I'm seeing uh, the rooster here, strong also. Second second in ranking, the rooster, Chinese year of the rooster. And then I'm seeing the goat. There are four, four of each. And um, goat, very strong goat here. Um, so number one was the horse. Then came the rooster and then the goat. Now I'm seeing two of each. Uh, no, three. There's three tigers here. Chinese ear of the tiger. Chinese ear of the rabbit cat. And I'm seeing uh, Chinese ear of the ox, buffalo and the dog. There's also the dragon. Wow. So there's a lot of Chinese ears here, it seems to me. Now each and every one of them, like for example, the tiger goes with the goat. And of course, you know, the uh, goat goes with also the rat there was no rat here so i'm not going to go through that uh, I, I want to see uh, this important factor here that i'm seeing before i get the other paper which we will go through this one uh, i'm seeing something very interesting here and i just want to look deeper what is that the contracts signatures somebody's done the wrong thing by you there's reconciliation there's forgiveness if they've hurt your feelings, they're going to ask for forgiveness. I see you looking for uh, starting a new career for some of you. But there's a major turnaround in your life and a new beginning. I do see a beautiful phoenix. It's like you're igniting something new is starting with you now. My dear Christ, I'll just remove my glasses and let's go through these uh, together. Okay, we have diamond. 
something very special. Well, someone was thinking very special of you. They could give you a gift, diamond and something very special. Money, big time coming to you. Expression is important, how you express yourself. Especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius with Aquarius, they're very straightforward. So you've got to be a little bit um, more soft when you're experiencing the truth, uh, when you're express expressing the truth. Um, a golden era. There's a time where you're going to be feeling so special and loving it. That's what I saw here when you were traveling and embracing and loving. It's a golden era, golden time spent together. Comfort. There's a lot of comfort coming. Traveling. Again, traveling here. Wow. There it is. Traveling is all over the place. Um, some of you are going to be going on long drives to do with love. Long drives. Just sitting next to each other, cuddling, or just embracing while you're driving together, stopping, and you know. And I see, I did see an ocean here. There is a place where you you might be spending quality time with. Chinese year of the tiger. Chinese year of the goat. Very strong here. We have the tiger and the goat. Remember, I talked about the tiger and the goat. They're very much connected. Trouble. There could be some trouble. There could be some chaos. And you've got to be on walking on eggshells during this time. For some, there could be police even involved. So you just got to be careful when this happens. It could be happening with a neighbor. It could be happening with someone, you know, uh, that you have to be careful of. But don't forget everything happens for a reason. And perhaps this is going to put an end to something that was uh, troublesome. Now, I'm going to go through the names. Uh, initials that people that you're going to be dealing with in October onwards. Three times I was given um, the letter M for money or Mexico. Then I was given D for donut or dog. And 11, by the way, November is the Chinese year of the dog. I should have said that. There was 11 and 11. For those of you who have been seeing 1111, something big happening in November and Chinese year of the dog and 1111. For those of you who, who see 1111. By the way, I am one of those people who sees 1111, but I have no Aquarius in me. W for willow or winter. R for roam or rooster. Q for quails or quilt. Twice I was given the letter U for umbrella or under, Y for yes, L for love, K for kiwi fruit, and V for victory. Now I was given two numbers. Number seven, oh my god, again, number seven. So that's what? Four horses, another horse, that's five, six horses. Chinese year of the horse controlling this coffee cup. Whether it's yourself or your partner or someone that you're dealing with, Chinese year of the horse all over the place. Uh, the, the seven is also connected to spiritual, the horse is connected to spirituality, to freedom, spiritual growth. It's connected to people that have cancer in them, and there was cancer in here, and Leo, and there was strong Leo here. It is connected to seven days or seven weeks from the time you see this cup up to seven weeks. There's going to be a lot of spiritual growth and a lot of freedom. Remember, I saw the freedom, I said you're feeling free and you can do whatever you want. Well, that's coming, I'd say, seven weeks, seven, seven days to seven weeks. Then we've got number three. Number three is connected to the Chinese year of the tiger. There it is again, the tiger, Chinese year of the tiger. Um, this is connected to, well, the tiger and the goat are the trouble, where the trouble is. So it could be dealing with tiger or goat where the trouble is. Remember that. Uh, number three, connected to also wisdom, expansion, uh, people that have Pisces or Aries in them. And from the time you see this cup up to three months, there's going to be expansion. There's, go there's going to be learning. You could be studying to learn something, something new that you want to conquer and master. Mastering something, working in team together, collaborating, doing well, and family matters also. Three. From the time you see the cup up to three months, a lot of that will be happening. And that's the end of your reading. My dear Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Please see the videos all the way to the end in support of me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free and it takes a few seconds to go click, click. And it does help me big time. All the love and light, all my blessings to each and every one of you. And if you have a traveling, I wish you a safe trip. Namaste.